Hello, everyone. I'm Terry Cousins, and I'm going to talk about power interruptions, what happens when the lights go out, and what to do about it. Uh, first of all, electricity supply we expect to be um, reliable, unaffected by loads, constant voltage, uh, constant frequency, and a pure sine wave. And uh, we want to know if this is really realistic. Um, actually, it doesn't. Unfortunately, uh, our supply voltage varies with time. So if we look at uh, voltage over a period of time, we find that it uh, actually doesn't give us a constant. Unfortunately, frequency changes. We have things called harmonics, which are present, which we're not going to cover in this thing. Uh, we do have short-term dips and transients. And then our biggest problem, interruptions to the supply. It means uh, the supply fails. Let's have a quick look and see why this happens. When we have our uh, power system, uh, we have a generation that occurs in a certain place. And electricity is transmitted from that point of generation through a transmission system, through a distribution system, and eventually it sits down here, and we're sitting here in a little high-tech factory uh, with a lot of computers, and we wonder why our power is failing. First of all, we can have a problem with the capacity. The actual system might not be able to supply uh, generation. Uh, we also might have a problem with uh, lightning. We're all familiar with lightning, and that might cause interruptions. We have different faults on the system. We can have failures of our distribution system. Uh, maybe maintenance is not being done properly. Uh, and then next to us, we have this big factory that might overload the system and cause uh, some failures. Biggest blackout that occurred in the U.S. was in 2003. Um, and uh, we can see over here we have the satellite photo, kind of a before and after. Smoking gun, we can see the lights over there before. We can see afterwards. So it really affected a large number of people. Um, in fact, 50 million people were affected, financial losses of about 6 billion US dollars, and then a number of other uh, health and, and uh, issues where we had uh, transportation system failures, communication systems, industries shutting down and looting, and even some deaths, unfortunately. Now, if we look at uh, the cost of power interruptions and we look at different sectors of the economy, we find surprisingly that uh, our commercial sector, things like uh, retail, banking, uh, offices are worst affected. And we can see that uh, our industries are not as badly affected. Big figure there, 79 billion US dollars. That was in 2004. Um, and uh, really, as uh, industries, we probably better uh, able to cope with power interruptions, whereas the commercial, uh, once we've lost that power, people do not always come back and, and respend. What can we do? Uh, firstly, we can identify and remove the cause of the interruption. Uh, sensitive equipment, we can power from a UPS. Uh, those of us are familiar with the UPS, um, those not, uh, a very good uh, way of, of making sure that computer equipment and the like is, is not uh, disturbed. Uh, we can separate uh, um, sensitive equipment from uh, from power uh, supplies that trip out or are unreliable. Um, we can use wide voltage power supplies, uh, giving us uh, these days you get uh, switch mode supplies which go from uh, around 100 volts or 90 volts all the way up to about 250. So uh, short term uh, power power loss won't affect that. A three phase supply buildings often powered from three phase. We can make sure that. Uh, if there is a, a loss of a phase uh, and the other two phases are still running, we can possibly uh, keep uh, some of the business business going. Um, we can increase the power supply size. Uh, DC supplies, which is really um, not suitable for all equipment, but certainly uh, lighting and, and some uh, process equipment can be run from, from a DC supply. Uh, and then we also get uh, system uh, effects like uh, automatic protection that might fail and uh, the proofing uh, relays uh, that we need to um, make sure they don't trip out. Uh, so that's kind of a, a very short summary of uh, power interruptions, uh, how they occur and what we can do about them. And then I'd just like to uh, acknowledge Electrometer, which is what we use to do the presentation. If you need some more information, go to www.electrometer.com and uh, you can do e-learning sessions very similar to this. And I thank you very much for your time.